What's up, YouTube? This is Two Raw Four TV. All right, so, um, man, this is to me the biggest news of the day in the sports world. When I first saw this, I thought it was a hoax or like a parody, a joke. Um, but then when I, cause I saw it in, in the uh, sports chat group, shout out to the brother uh, Black Rally TV. Uh, he posted this in a group. I didn't think it was real. But then I saw that this was being promoted on Netflix. And I said, wait a minute. Then I started thinking, well, this, this still might be like a, a joke type thing still, a, a, like a fake fight, you know. But then I look further, and this is real. This is real. Jake Paul. Jake Paul <laughs> will be fighting the former undisputed heavyweight champion of the world, Mike Tyson. And I believe this bout will be on uh, July 20th at AT&T Stadium in Arlington, Texas. Which, of course, is the home of the cursed Dallas Cowboys. And uh, Jake Paul, the YouTuber turned boxer, who is 9-1 with six KOs, has said recently he wants to focus on fighting real boxers to eventually compete for a world title. Well, this time he'll be fighting long-retired heavyweight, former heavyweight champion Mike Tyson, who uh, officially has 56 victories versus six losses. 44 knockouts, uh, former heavyweight champion, one of the best in boxing history. His last competitive sanctioned fight was almost 19 years ago, which was a TKO loss to Kevin McBride back in June of 2005. Mike Tyson, who was 57, turns 58 June 30th, and will be 58, of course, when he fights uh, Jake Paul. Of course, it was back in, I believe, November of 2000 and, I think it was, was it November of 2020, when he participated in an exhibition bout with Roy Jones Jr., and um, I thought that Tyson looks, compared to how he looked when he fought Kevin McBride, oddly enough, Tyson looked better, much better against, uh, against Roy Jones Jr., at age 54 at the time than he did when he fought his last fight against Kevin McBride when he was 38 years old. Uh, which goes to show you why a lot of us Tyson fans always felt like Mike was holding himself back. Mike was holding himself from being better. You can say training, you know, mentally not being into boxing, whatever the case may be. Um... Of course, Mike Tyson, the youngest man ever to win the heavyweight championship back in November of 1986 when he knocked out Trevor Burbick in the second round. Uh, I think he became undisputed heavyweight champion when he defeated uh, Michael Spinks back in June of 1988. And uh, while his championship reign was not as long as many people thought it would be, it ended in February of 1990 when he was knocked out in, I believe, the 10th round in Tokyo, Japan against James Buster Douglas. Uh, it was a downward spiral from there on. Uh, he fought a couple of fights uh, afterward, including uh, a uh, a back-to-back -back affair with Razor Ruddick. He was supposed to fight uh, Evander Holyfield, but then, of course, the legal issues came in the summer of 1991 with Desiree Washington. I really don't even want to go down that path, but of course, Mike Tyson served three years in prison. Behind that mess, I think 95% of Americans, only the most toxic feminazis, believe that Mike Tyson committed that crime. When you look at the evidence, you look at uh, what was presented, uh, use your common sense. Uh, the fact that Desiree Washington had a history of lying on men and just being a liar in general. Um, you know, those are my thoughts. He served uh, less than three years in prison. Uh, I think he was released, I think it was in April of, might have been in March or April of 1995, might have been March of 1995. Ultimately, he won the championship again. I think it was in 
I'm going off memory here now. I think it was March of 1996 against Frank Bruno. Then he won another belt in September of 1996, which is, you know, sadly the same uh, night that uh, Tupac Shakur was shot. Uh, I'm trying to remember who it was he beat, beat. I think it was Bruce Seldon. But then it was downhill from there again. Uh, just two months later, he fought Evander Holyfield, who at the time, many people thought was on the downside. You know, he didn't look good against Riddick Bowe. Uh, you know, but he beat Mike Tyson and then beat him again in the rematch, which was the, the ear bite fight. And then from there on, it was just downhill for Mike Tyson. Uh, but to me, Mike Tyson, I know I'm talking about Mike Tyson more than Jake Paul. I, I don't really know much about Jake Paul, other than I know he was an internet personality turned boxer. Uh, but Mike Tyson has turned around his life, um, has become a relatively beloved figure. And at the end of the day, uh, I'm rooting for Mike Tyson to win. Uh, I'm, I'm still trying to figure out whether this is an exhibition bout or whether this is an actual fight. Let me do a little bit more reading. Uh, after starting his boxing career, Jake Fall f facing fellow YouTubers and former MMA fighters, Paul, who's 27, lost a split decision to Tommy Fury in February 2023. Last August, he faced another MMA fighter in Nate Diaz and stated he was going to change course with hopes of developing a true boxing career. He scored first round knockout wins over Andre August and Ryan Berland. Since that point, fighting at the cruiserweight limit of 200 pounds. Um, Tyson might be old for a boxer, but time hasn't eroded his star power one bit. Even though Tyson's last professional fight took place in 2005, he remains one of the biggest names on the planet, not just in sports. There are also no doubt that Paul is one of the biggest social media stars out there. Add them together and you have one massive event that's sure to generate worldwide appeal. Boxing purists be damned. Netflix has upwards of 260 million subscribers globally. And since this isn't a pay-per-view, there's a chance this is the most watched fight of this, of this century. Seriously, Mayweather's bout with Manny Pacquiao shattered the pay-per-view record with 4.6 million buys. You know what? That's true. I didn't look at that. Um, hmm. Uh, let's see. Will this be a sanctioned? Yeah, I'm just reading. Um, they're, they're saying they're still not sure whether this is a a sanctioned bout or whether it's going to be an exhibition where they're really throwing punches to hurt each other. Sometimes they said, uh, look, it could be painfully obvious as an exhibition like it was with Logan Paul and Floyd Mayweather uh, back in 2021 where it was obvious that, that they weren't trying to hurt one another. But then they compared it to uh, when when uh, Vito Bill fought, uh, uh, Bill fought, and Evander Holyfield fought the same year, and that actually turned into a real fight when he was throwing real punches, and he knocked out Evander Holyfield in the opening round. So you never know with some of these fights. And um, it also says that when Tyson Fury fought Francis Ngannou this past October. It was believed that it was going to be an exhibition bout, but it turned out to be a real fight. They counted on both fighters' records. So, I'm, me personally, <coughs> I hope it's a real fight. And this is what boxing is now. Like, look, 
boxing fans like myself, former boxing fans who just totally fell out of love with the fight, with the uh, the game. We want to see guys fight each other, man. We want to see star fights. Look, I grew up in an era where your best fighters, I put it like this. Your best fighters fought a grade A fighter at least once every other year. At least once every other year. We'll give you a year where you fight, you know, some tomato cans. Or, you know, maybe a guy that is on the cusp. But we'll give you that. But you can't go more than, say, a two-year window where you don't fight somebody legitimately. Then you had some who always was fighting someone legitimate. Might have a shorter career, but that's what we grew up watching. These guys were fighting each other. These guys don't fight each other, man. And then you got a nerd to say, oh, I'm this, and I want to be ranked that, and why I'm not looked upon it. Because you ain't fighting no motherfucking body. That's why. So at the end of the day, you know, I just stopped watching boxing. So maybe this can suck me back into boxing. I don't know. Maybe we'll start. Maybe this is what we're going to start seeing, man. Celebrity boxing uh, that has an appeal. Uh, it is what it is. But uh, you know, tell me what you guys think. And by the way, who I think going to win this fight? The only thing that makes me have some concern with Mike Tyson is his age. Um, you know, you always worry about someone who's that advanced in age doing something like this, but at the same time, he's kept himself in tremendous shape. Um, the thing that aids Tyson's power is his speed, explosiveness. And when I look at Tyson, there's a little reduction in speed and explosiveness, but not much. Um, which is surprising. Of course, he's not as explosive and as fast as he once was, but he looks a lot, he, he doesn't look bad for a guy his age. We saw that when he fought Roy Jones. The man still punches like a mule. Uh, so if Jake Paul can somehow keep Mike Tyson off of him, maybe he has a shot. But this is ingrained in Tyson. Tyson is a skilled fighter, one of the most skilled fighters ever. Uh, so... I still have to give the advantage to Mike Tyson. Uh, if this is a real fight, a real fight where they're throwing punches, you know what I'm saying, that to, to really hurt people, this could be quick. 